joined because we believed. We stayed because we were committed. We left because we were disillusioned. But we came back because we were lost. Without a dream, we are nothing. And what a time now for us to take this dream and not let it die. Take this dream and give it life. Take this dream and breathe into it your own personal spirit until finally it becomes a flame that burns around the whole world. Let's go do it now. And now I'd like to leave you with these four questions called questions to ponder. These questions were valuable for me and I want to make them valuable for you. Here's the first one, why? We all ask why we should work this hard. Why take that many classes? Why go to school that many years? You know, why take the notes? Why read the books? Why work that hard? Why put yourself through the push-ups and the disciplines? Why? Good question, why? Best answer to why, I think, is the second question. Why not? Why not see how many books you can read, how many classes you can take, how many skills you can develop? Why not see how valuable you can become to the marketplace and to your friends and to your family? Why not see what you can make of yourself? Why not see how far you can go, how much you can see, how much you can earn, how much you can share? Why not? That's the heritage all of us have, in America especially, is to see what we can make out of our lives now that we've been given this extraordinary opportunity. Now, my third question I'd love to ask you in person. But since I can't do it in person, I want to ask it of all of you. But I want you to take it personally. And my third question is, why not you? Why not you with good self-esteem? Why not you starting to change and setting goals? Why not you starting to make progress toward financial independence? Uh, if I can do it, you can do it. I wish I had a lot more testimonials here today besides mine. A whole steady stream that would come by and tell you their story. Someone who started with nothing, finally run a big enterprise. A mother who was on welfare, now she owns her own business. In addition to my story, I wish I had a lot more and if all of them told their story, guess how they would probably wind up their story? They'd probably say, just like me, why not you? If we can read, you can read. If we can change, you can change. If we can figure it out, you can figure it out. If we can turn it around, you can turn it around. There isn't anything you can't accomplish. That's what those testimonials would say. And so I want to say it to you personally. Why not you? Well, you've got the brains. You've got the, the stamina. You've got the vitality. You've got the interest. You've got your life ahead of you. You've got the future. You can do it. If anybody can do it, you can do it. If one of us can do it, hey, we all can do it. And now here's my last question. Why not now? This is a good time. As the 20th century starts to wind down a few more years as we get ready for century 21, what a good time to set your goals, work on yourself, work on your skills. What a good time to get it together what a good time to start this process. Personal development, growing, changing, developing, having a good plan for your money and for your life and for your future. Why not now? And I hope I have a chance to see you one of these days and share with you the experience, the reaction, the response you might have had from my message today. And until I get a chance to see you on this side of the world or the other side of the world, in some school or some seminar, or maybe I'll come and speak for a company that you work for someday. I hope I get a chance to meet you. Until then, I wish you the best. I want all that I've gotten to be yours and much, much more. God bless. Goodbye.